We're Laura and Brian, also known as a couple of Quints. We love our city of Dayton, old houses, and dogs. Recently, we purchased a 1905 Federal-style fixer-upper, and we've been renovating it during the pandemic. We've officially reached crunch time. In just two short weeks, we're teaming up with Dayton Architecture to open our home for a tour. It won't be completely finished in time, but we're still working hard to make the Fed look its best. Where are we going, Brian? We're going antiquing. <laughs> We're going to, it's called the Heart of Ohio Antiques, and I think it's like the largest antique mall in Ohio, so it's gonna be fun. What are we looking for? Uh, I don't... Anything that sparks our interest. Yeah, I'll know it when I see it. That's my favorite thing to say. A painting for the kitchen. Basically any kind of painting ever. I'm, I've always got my eyes open for that. I what like... Else? Oh, uh, Brian always looks for records. Yeah. Maybe a love seat, a little love seat or something like that, Victorian style. I don't know, something that could be reupholstered and would be really pretty. I love taking old uh, chairs and things like that and reupholstering them in really contemporary fabrics. I think that's just a fun mix. Right, we're here. Let's do it. Who gets this excited about going antiquing? Probably everybody here in this parking lot, so. <laughs> for the kitchen. I love the little people. It's a real oil painting. Accent color is green, which is going to be the accent color for the kitchen. The stove is also going to be green, which is a surprise for later, but I really love this. Look great in the fed. Ooh, which it, one are you getting? Yeah, the red. <laughs> oh man, Scott's been looking specifically for this thing. Two years. For two years? Yeah, two years. <laughs> two years. I need, I need fresh crackers. Look what I found. It's a little planter. Marlon Hardy. And just in case you're wondering what this is, it weighs babies. It's not creepy at all, man. You can actually open up your own space here. Maybe you can get rid of some stuff. Me? <laughs> <laughs> you and yeah. Scott. Me? Yes, yeah, Scott yeah. can. The two of you, I think. I'm not gonna, getting rid of my stuff. Y'all are killing it in this space. <laughs> Both of you. Both of you. <laughs> I'm not anywhere. selling my stuff yet. Although Scott and I are going to have a garage sale. So get ready if you're in the date area. <laughs> we are. To avoid we're, episode of hoarders. We're hoarders. Yeah. <laughs>
Well, after several hours of shopping, we finally made it back to the bed. Brian's working on carrying in everything that we purchased today. So I wanted to show a few of the items to you. Here is the painting. We did end up getting it. It's a little large. I might end up moving it somewhere else because uh, I do like to have a little bit of wall space, but it's certainly beautiful. And I think the colors are perfect. Here's the little dog. He's so cute. And we got this for the dressing room, which I'm so excited about. It's called a dressing stand. I guess you put your clothes here, hat or anything on top. This tray here is for your accessories or watch. Um, this thing was 30 bucks. I can't believe it. I mean, it's solid brass. The wood is in excellent condition. It's beautiful. And look at the feet. $30. Dang, put your watch and wallet and stuff on there. Yeah. <laughs> we have one more really important thing. Brian said he already put it in place. Haven't seen it yet. Oh yeah, that looks beautiful. This clock. I guess we didn't find out yet if it works or not, but Brian is confident that if it doesn't work, yeah, that I can, can fix, fix it. it. I can fix yeah, anything, I think that baby. looks beautiful with the fireplace. Oh yeah. I just manually swung it, but uh, it is moving the gears. I need like a light. I can't hold a camera still to save my life either. Love it. Ooh, the chime. Oh, I love it. Shh. Oh, yeah. I That's love that be sound. So cool. It just sounds like an old house. This clock oh belongs in this house. This clock smells old. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a good smell. Since it's nice and warm outside, I have another thing to fix. A while back we had some issues with the door. It has a spring inside that makes this part stick out, but that little spring broke. We also got a new lock up here that's electronic, so it would be kind of nice to get one or the other in working order. So I'm going to work on that while it's nice and toasty. Got her done. Kind of a fancy looking lock, isn't it? I haven't quite figured this thing out yet. So the reason we were up so late last night was we wanted to clean to get ready for a photographer who wanted to come over and take some photos of our place. So, come and check her out.
Everything's so clean, isn't it, Pete? a little special surprise for Laura. <laughs> like a I have no idea early. what it is, but I already love it. A resident dog? What is it? Just a picture of houses and dogs? Oh, read the, the second title of it. Resident dog. Does it have... Incredible homes and the dogs that live there. Aww. Pete, you could be a resident dog. Very cool, babe. Thank you. Look at these pictures. Oh, yeah. Oh, now I just need time to sit down and look at a book. <laughs> <laughs> Open. <laughs> oh yeah. Hey buddy. Still got a little ways to go, but it is definitely looking better. Goal for tomorrow. We finally get to start tiling. So we're going to try to tile this back wall. We're actually doing two different types of tile. And this wall and this wall will have a different type of tile. This is kind of our, I don't know, accent wall. We need to tape the joints here and here with this stuff. Then we have a big bucket of tile adhesive. We have this tool. It's kind of amazing that we still have all this stuff. I've done a few tile jobs before and it seems like this stuff always gets lost in between. So I'm actually pretty amazed that we have this stuff organized. All right, I think we have everything for tomorrow. The only thing we need is the tile saw. Hello. So I asked my dad if we can pick that up in the morning. Start playing with your eyes after a while and you can't tell what's straight and what's not. <laughs> 